Hello there, YouTube. Back with another reaction video. And we are going to look at the Weather Girls, It's Raining Men, a live performance with the original duo, Martha Wash and Isora Armstead. So excited to hear just the vocal agility that I already know they're going to bring because they brought it in the, in the studio version. So let's just go right ahead and dive in because this is about to be really yummy, yummy, yummy goodness. It's Raining Men, Paul Schaefer, and the Weather Girls. <laughs> All right now, dang. <laughs> so already they coming out, walking out real hard and real swagged out. I, I'm already loving it. That's what I'm talking about. Don't matter your size, still shutting the game down. <laughs> Martha, Jesus, that is wow. And even though this is such a campy song, just the way she sing it like that, for the first time in history, it's gonna start raining men. It's raining men. <laughs> And then Isora, uh -huh. <laughs> So I love that. I love how Isora brings that comedic effect, but still, vocals. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Like, whew, I, this is just great. Can we talk about Izora and this alto? Like, she is carrying this song. Like, we always give Martha her praise, but Izora, and she did what she had to do. She, she brought an angel. Like, whoo! Go ahead, Izora. Go on, kill it, baby. Quickly, notice in the, in behind the band, Dave Letterman's band, they is rocking out. And actually, when you actually listen to it, they going hard like that guitar, that piano, top notch, top notch. Oh, 
is trash even though this was in the 80s and they didn't know how to take this song because 80s was very conservative time period um but i just love how they didn't even care they still was enjoying themselves but this audience trash like i'd have been like hey the single too like i would have been up right up in the audience hey 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 so whatever audience get out here with that <laughs> Now, the audience do right when they did. I, I feel like that was a standing ovation because that did deserve much so that. So I do feel like the audience did redeem themselves a little bit. But nah, they should have been up in there dancing and shaking their little booties like Martha and Isor was doing. <laughs> but it's just crazy that I'm glad that not only did Donna Summers reject this song. Because that's who it was initially made for was Donna Summers. She rejected it. And then on top of that, he also sent out the producer, the composer of the song, sent it out to Donna Summer, not only Donna Summer, but Diana Ross, Cher, and Barbara Streisand. And they all said, nah, we ain't doing this. So, and I'm glad they did because even with Barbara and Donna, vocally, they would not have done it the way Martha and Izora did it. So, like, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I'm so glad that they rejected the song because this is a, such a staple song in just music history. Like, you will never escape the song. Um, and just the fact that they killed it not only on the album or the single, but just live. Like, this was just phenomenal. Oh, my God. Just the vocal delivery. It was just beautiful just to listen to this. Like, oh my gosh, I wish Izora was alive to this day so they could just do a reunion and just kill it one more time for the new generation. But it is what it is. But we always have clips like this just to remind us of just how beautiful this song was. Like, and just how the vocal arrangement was totally crazy and they just delivered. So let me know, let you know, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, definitely put your comments in there and let me know some of the reactions that you want me to um, look into. So until next time, guys, thanks.